Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Uh, today's date is Thursday, September 12th, 2024. Now, on to today's headlines. The United Parcel Service, also known as UPS, which announced a reduction force of 12,000 employees earlier this year, has confirmed that it recently made further job cuts. The company has not divulged how many further employees are being let go in this round of cuts, but UPS has stated that they will look to continue to drive productivity through process improvements, technology enhancements, and organizational realignment. So even further job cuts might be coming. So far, it seems that this round of layoffs, like those earlier this year, are targeted at non-union management roles. Shell, the oil and gas giant, is planning a 20% reduction in force, which will impact the company's oil and gas exploration staff the Exploration and Development Division, and the Subsurface Division. Per report by Reuters, the layoffs will mostly affect Shell staff in Houston, Texas, and in The Hague, Netherlands, but will also probably impact offices in Britain. New CEO Whale Salon has been focused on creating more value for shareholders by improving financial performance, and his target is cost-cutting of about $2 to $3 billion by the end of 2025. LabCorp, a clinical laboratory network and lab diagnostics company based in Burlington, North Carolina, has announced layoffs in the Portland, Oregon area. Last year, LabCorp required the labs of Providence and Legacy Health, two of the largest hospitals in Portland. Reports have stated the transition has been less than seamless with reported delays in doctors receiving patient test results. Now, LabCorp is planning on shifting the bulk of functions at a facility in Holiday Park, a former Legacy Lab, to the Halsey Laboratory. It's not clear at this time how many employees will be impacted by these cuts. ChargePoint, an electric vehicle charging company located in the Bay Area, will lay off 15% of its workforce as announced in its second quarter earnings report. While the document did not disclose how many personnel would be impacted by the cuts, based on the latest headcount of the company, around 250 employees will be affected by the layoffs. ChargePoint reported a 28% drop in revenue from Q2 of 2024 compared to Q2 of last year, which has driven the layoffs. The cuts will impact a variety of roles, including engineers, managers, technicians, and designers. And finally, video game studio Lost Boys Interactive, which is under the Embracer Studio umbrella, has undergone its second round of layoffs this year. LBI did not specify how many employees were let go, but a former art director called it an extensive layoff and a former lead character artist posted to LinkedIn that his entire team was let go. LBI cited market conditions in the video game industry as the driving force for the layoffs and that all other options were considered before job cuts. This has been today's edition of Layoff News with Employment Boost. I'm Ryan Miller, and we'll catch you on the next one.